on YouTube land I am Chris got the Lunia I got a shoe review for you today you're gonna be super excited about the Concords that just released psych we are not talking about this shoe we are talking about that Nike off-white tulip pink that zoom fly but before we get into the shoe review go ahead and check out my Instagram Chris got the Lunia with an underscore at the end go ahead and like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video all right let's get into it I am a pretty lucky bastard I was able to cop this shoe at my local sneaker politics here in Austin Texas so usually before they have like the shake back Sunday they have an opportunity for where you can go into the store and collect on the raffle now it's one of those situations where they pull your ticket and if you win they call you that night or the following day and I got a call back from them. So today I was at work during my lunch break I took one of those Lime or Bird scooters down to 2nd Street, picked up the shoe, did the transaction, we all good. And yes before I picked up these shoes I did try on the sneakers app, I tried on two different accounts with two different phone numbers, two different credit card numbers, two different addresses and I still took the L. But it's all good, it's all good because I still have them in hand. So let me reintroduce you to the shoe that is part of that 10 collection. This is the Nike Off-White Zoom Fly, the Tulip Pinks. These shoes retailed at a price of $170 USD at about $10 for your tax based on your location. Looking on the resale market at apps like Stock Eggs, Grilled, or Goat, these are running at about $300 resale, and this is a size nine. The rumored release date for these shoes was October, and again, it is rumored Virgil Abloh and Nike never confirmed that it was going to release in October. And a lot of people speculate that it was going to release in October because it is pink, and of course, that coincides with Filipino American History Month. Haha, <laughs> that's a joke. It's supposed to coincide with Breast Cancer Awareness Month. But still, Filipino American History Month is in October. Gotta represent. So yes, this shoe released on the sneakers app in which I took two L's on. They released on some sneaker boutiques nationwide. And yeah, that that's about it. There's actually another color that was supposed to be released with this shoe. It is the black colorway. I'm not too sure what the release date is going to be for that particular shoe. But we're not talking about that. Let's get back onto this. Now, my first impression of the shoe when I saw it on the sneakers app, when I saw it on different web editorials, I wasn't too big of a fan of this shoe. And even seeing like previous colorways of this, like ones that were already released, I was just really not ever a fan of this particular model, the Zoom Flies. But when I walked into Sneaker Politics to grab my raffle ticket, I fell in love with this shoe. I really love this shoe. And I'll have you know, or you probably know by watching previous videos, I'm not an off-white fanboy. So that's saying a lot that I really like this shoe. This is what the box looks like. It's brown cardboard, the swish right here in quotations, done in like glossy clear letters. On the front, you have this clear label right here with black font, the 10 Nike Zoom Fly, the white barcode with the black lines. If you open the box, it's just like the Nike box flipped open. You have some of this foam, you have this white piece of paper, and then you have this off-white Nike piece of paper inside as well. And you have two tags that say made in Vietnam. They both go on the medial side of the last eyelet. All right, so let's actually start talking about the shoes. So the upper of the shoes is mainly comprised of a nylon material. You'll see that some of these areas are translucent, which is pretty cool. And having the thought in your head that, oh, it's made out of nylon, you wouldn't imagine that the shoe is breathable. So these clear portions right here on the lateral, on the toe box area, on the medial side of the shoe, it's breathable. And adjacent to those translucent or clear panels, we also have some solid pink that is involved. And these areas right here form like the foundation or the structure of the shoes. And these areas again are not breathable. On the lateral side of the shoe, we have this Nike swoosh that is prominent and in your face. The material used on it feels like a plastic and it is ripped. There is some texture to it, which is pretty cool. The coloring looks like a pink coral. 
And matching that pink coral color, we have some zigzag stitching going all around the swoosh. In signature off-white form, we have that orange hang tag at the end of this Nike swoosh with some black zigzag stitching. Behind that Nike swoosh in that translucent layer, you can see like some pink leather behind that. And that actually forms the framing for the eyelets. It reaches from the midsole, reaches all the way up, and forms this framing right here. But we'll get into that a little bit later. The toe box of the shoe is pretty plain. We have that vamp that is covered in that translucent nylon that is breathable and then we have the framing or the bumper area that is done in that solid pink. The medial side of the shoe, it employs the same upper material as the rest of the shoe. On this side though, you can see on the inside or behind this translucent layer that eyelet framing or the structure of the shoe. Now on this side, you have some lines going diagonally and up. On this side is actually like a solid piece with a circle cut out right there. It's pretty cool. I really like the side, especially since there's not too much happening on the medial side of the shoe as opposed to the lateral side of the shoe. But speaking of nothing happening on this side, what we have on this side is that off-white prototype branding and it is done in black. I'm not sure if it's done in a sublimation or it's done in screen printing. What it reads out, it says off-white for Nike. Nike Zoom Fly in the quotation marks, Beaverton, Oregon, USA, uh, copyright 2017. And in true off-white form, of course, this font is Helvetica. The heel, the heel features a pink strap, a nylon strap that is sewn all the way up, but it leaves a hole right here. And what's cool about this strap is that there's actually like a hardened, like stripe of plastic that runs up this heel tab. It's the little things that count. All right, we're finished with the upper. Let's talk about the lacing system. You can see that it's outlined with that hardened plastic slash leather material. It's kind of confusing, but kind of cool at the same time. The eyelids run up and down the shoe in zigzag form. And it's pretty cool because this material, it like arches over and reaches through the inside of the shoe down into the midsole of the shoe. And it is secured somewhere in here. Same with this side. In touching it, it feels like a leather material. I'm not too sure if it's like a TPU or plastic or anything like that. It, it feels more like a leather material. But whatever, we move on to the shoelaces, which are of a flat shape and done in that matching pink color. Towards the auglets of the shoes, we have that off-white branding. It says shoelaces in quotation mark, and this is printed with white ink. Again, those were the default laces. These are the secondary laces. It is a flat shape and done up in black. The wording on this is actually colored in like that coral color to match the Nike swoosh. And it says the same thing, shoelaces and quotations. Finishing off the lacing system and in typical off-white styling, we have the zip tie. The zip tie that we don't know whether we should cut or we should retain. What do we do with this? And if you watched Oh It's Teddy or Boost God's new video on where he talks about like the off-white tags and how you should cut them and comparing them to stock X tags and how you should cut those, it, it's it's an opinion, one that I don't agree with, but what we have here is the off-white zip tag and it's done in that periwinkle or lavender color. Now on it, it actually says off-white, C-O Nike, and circa 2018 zip tie. And it's pretty cool. I really, I, I'm a fan of keeping the zip tie on the shoe. I just think it gives it some style points, regardless of the fact that Off-White put a video saying to take it off. I don't think you're mandated or supposed to take the zip tie off if they supplied it with the shoe. And come on, it comes in different colors, guys. I mean, dumb observation. Love your videos, stupid observation though. <laughs> Not that you're ever gonna see this. I'm no one in sneaker YouTube and I only got 5,000 subscribers, so. The tongue of the shoe is done up in that same translucent material with the borders being pink. And that includes the eye stay right here for your laces. Now, on the lateral side of this tongue, we have a white label and it says Nike with the Nike Swish done up in coral or orange and sportswear under that. Nike and sportswear done in that black embroidery. This tongue actually wraps around your foot. Adhering to that tulip pink theme, we have the lining and it actually feels like a felt material on the inside because it's pretty soft to the touch. Now the lining, we actually have some padding on the inside, on the lateral side and the medial sides of the shoe. And what I failed to mention on the exterior of the shoe, you can see some of that padding protruding. Pulling the insole out from the shoe, it's thin, minimal cushioning. You can see the fabric is done up in pink and laid on top of some white foam. And on the heel, it has some of that off-white branding with the logo right here and right here it says the 10 because it's part of the 10 series. 
Under that branding, or on the flip side, we have the sizing tag. Before we complain about how thin this insole is, don't worry, because we have this fat midsole right here, made out of Lunarlon EVA foam. It is lightweight, it is soft, and it is resilient. Looking at it, the midsole has some cool characteristics. It has this wave that runs all the way from the back, goes all the way to the front of the shoe, and this wave actually protrudes out from the shoe, and this is done on both the lateral and the medial sides of the shoe. We have this foam branding right here, and typical off-white foam, that Helvetica font in black ink. Where the midsole and the outsole meet, it forms the shape that peaks up a little bit and on this side you can see that it runs up so it actually follows that foot pain. Aside from that lunar line EVA foam there's actually a carbon infused nylon plate on the inside of the shoe that is actually arched like this. This arch is supposed to help you in shaping your run form and help your foot be more responsive to taking your next step. Obviously this is done in that tulip pink color. Moving to the outsole, which is also done in that same color, we have some blown rubber moving from the top to the bottom of the shoe. There's no real special technology with this, like BRS 1000 or anything like that, but there are these high abrasion rubber markings right here, these pods right here. Now this helps in the impact when your heel hits the ground. It helps because if they employed just that blown rubber without these pods right here, the shoe would wear down pretty fast. That's if you were going to run in the shoe. Fitment. I normally wear an 8.5 or a 9 US. Putting my foot into the shoe, I have no space. And I'm not too sure if this is going to stretch, being that it's made out of a nylon material. I definitely recommend that you go a half size up or maybe even a full size up. I don't know if you'll have any opportunity to try these on ever before you buy, but if you do, take that chance. But in summation, this fits hella tight. In terms of comfort, I was really skeptical on this shoe, but this shoe is pretty comfortable. I thought I would have to buy a third party insole, but that's not the case at all. The upper having that breathable nylon, the lunar lawn technology embedded in the midsole of the shoe. This is a pretty comfortable shoe, and honestly, I could rock this all day. I'm more than sure I can. In summation, I really do love the shoe. I love the materials used on it, that breathable upper, that lunar lawn technology, and paired with that off-white styling, I can rock this shoe. And this is coming from a person that typically doesn't care for off-white. This is a dope shoe. And I don't really rock pink shoes, but this one, it's gonna have me retire these pink glow human race shoes. I'm I'm already over this shoe. I've been rocking that shoe like crazy and running that one into the ground. But anyways, what do you think about this shoe? The Nike Zoom Fly, the Tulip Pink, that off-white collaboration. Is this a good pickup, a bad pickup? Were you able to cop on sneakers or wherever? Let me know down in the comments below. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. I greatly appreciate your support, and we'll check you next time. Cheers, see you now.